your personality really affects what you play. One of you sent this in as a submission, so we might as well watch it now. now I'll be on it. Your brain while, we're, while we're here, we might as well. Brain cells, which I already started destroying the moment you clicked on this. Should I make it a little bit louder? She feels a little bit silent on this one. Oh, never mind, it was my right headset. Chase, because it gets me hot and bothered watching you run. It's showtime! Yo! Pinoy! There's a very cool video on the internet called How Your Personality Affects What You Play, and this guy learned. Wait, 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 wait. There's a very cool video on the internet called How Your Person. Daryl Talks Games! I, I love that channel! I love. I love Daryl Talks Games. Guys, now amazing videos play, from him. And this guy lures you into a false sense of security before saying something along the lines of, <laughs> just kidding, personality psychology is a scam. Stay woke, gamers. And honestly, it's a great and well-researched video, so huge props to Daryl Talks Games for the sweet, sexy content, only there's one problem. I okay. don't live inside reality. Do you think I'm the type of person who gets uh -oh. online and thinks to myself, damn, I hope the internet is teeming with nothing but factual information and wholesome takes today. Of course not. I'm an ego, and the chaos is what makes it worth using. It fuels my power. Is it possible for me to know a single gosh darn thing about your personality based on whether you like crafting houses that look like eggplants in Minecraft? Or you prefer making Leon Yurk in the Resident Evil? No! Eggplants in Minecraft? No way! Or you prefer making Leon Yurk in the Resident Evil remake? That was the last woman known to man? Bam! I'm gonna beat my- <laughs> Leon did to some weird shit! <laughs> Absolutely not. But damn, am I gonna make it- Why was the droopy? Think about it. Fun to pretend that I do. So with that mini disclaimer out of the way, it's time to get started. Right after I talk about today's sponsor. Because it turns out that screaming about cops dumping come on YouTube isn't monetizable. Huh. I wonder why. Follow me on Twitch to get unfiltered content. Uh -oh. And that's why I'm very happy to announce that this video's sponsor is Snowbreak Containment Zone. A new 3D sci-fi RPG shooter that features not only cute and badass waifus taking on huge humanoid titans, but also... So innovative gameplay that combines a variety of guns, unique uh -huh. character skills, epic action elements, and an guys. Whenever I, I have an ad no on you, like when we're watching a video, and whenever like there is a sponsor on one of the content creators, all I can think about is that one commenter on one of my videos that said, "Oh, you skipped the ad. You skipped an ad. Oh, you shouldn't do that. There's a reason why." people big content creators don't skip the ad because they're just monetizing someone else's content and i like he also said i'm gonna give this video a dislike and i literally watched the ad i always i always watch the ad and like the thing is the ad was watched in the video like i have I'm still so speechless over that comment. Like, Engaging storyline all set in a I, futuristic side. I just don't setting. know. The man. game supports cross platform play on PC speechless. as well as mobile, including progress sharing and teaming up with two friends for a fun co op experience. At its core, Snowbreak Containment Zone is a PvE action shooting game where you'll create a team of three waifus and fight against bosses that are dozens of meters high with an over the shoulder shooting perspective. But more than that, the game also features a variety of skills and even real time partial destruction of the environment. Environment and bosses to deliver an extremely immersive and thrilling. If people are complaining that they might be self reporting their own use of a sponsor blocker. Wait, there's a sponsor blocker? Wait, does it. Is it like. Wait, what? Like, does it just auto skip in a video? Or, like, what do you mean? What? Oh my god. You must have been self-reporting. Could you think you skipped the ad because you have ad blocker? I don't know because no ad was playing. On top of that, I do have YouTube Premium. On top of that, even though I do have ad blocker, I use YouTube Premium. 
thrilling combat experience. When setting up your three member team, you can choose between different waifu skills and guns, giving you full control. So let me, let me, let me have proof here. Wait, you guys can't. Uh, let me zoom in here all the way. Premium, premium. Also, the ads in the video, I'm pretty sure, don't make the money past a couple weeks. Uh, honestly, I, I have, uh, I can't speak. I have no stats for that yet. I have no stats for that yet. You want to I don't know. Different encounters. You can then switch between characters and use different. Unless you meant sponsors. Unless you meant the sponsors, not not actually like YouTube ads. Attributes and skill positions on the fly to counter intensive fights. You can even upgrade and customize your favorite weapons to unlock their full destructive potential. But come on, this art style. So I haven't gotten a sponsor. So hey, if anyone actually wants to sponsor a video at one point, hit me up. Was amazing. All of the character designs are unique, so there's a waifu out there for everyone. The different city blocks, shanty town, and underground areas are well designed, and the gun selection and customization makes the game feel more. Don't personal. worry about it, and that don't flames. Worry, the game comes in English and Japanese and Mandarin, so this game is 100% safe for the sub only wow. gamers. Free registration of Snowbreak Containment Zone opens now, so make sure to pre register using my link in the description to get exclusive rewards like skins and weapons. Now back to skirting the lines of demonetization. Let's go! <laughs> My editors love working with me. <laughs> Number one, if your favorite genre is sandbox games like Minecraft and The Sims, then you are probably 10 years old. That's a joke! I'm joking! I'm well aware that most of you are adults and thank god you are because for some unknown reason, the players of sandbox games tend to be oddly degenerate. All I'm saying is that the amount of 18 plus mods that exist for The Sims, including adding the ability to spread crabs in Sim society, what? is more than a little disturbing. But be your penchant for living on the wild side, you tend to be very creative in awful, evil little ways. Locking up entire families and building buildings, maintaining your friends' houses and co-op, getting rid of the I never have gotten into The Sims. I think I played like The Sims once or twice when I was a kid. And I really haven't ever really gotten into it. Like, yeah, it was like fun then, but... Uh, they made a mod that does what? Um... Moving on. Is it a bomb monarch of desolation? Hi. On second thought, I'm done talking about Sims. I remember. Now I remember the one time. The one time I was playing Sims at a friend's place when I was a kid. We made a pool. We put the people in the pool and then remo remove the ladder so that. They couldn't get out, and they just died. The de the the fucking <laughs> death came to collect them. If I remember correctly, death couldn't even get to them because there was no letter, so it was just stuck. <laughs> Box gamers, because they're terrifying people that won't tolerate even the slightest hint of bullshit. If one of these gamers tells you they like you and that you shouldn't come to school tomorrow. Listen, 10 out of 10, because I'm too afraid to give you a lower rating. Number two, <laughs> if your favorite genre is first-person shooter games like Call of Duty or CSGO, then odds I are Benny the things you once said I in Benny. Xbox live chat are unspeakable crimes against humanity that are better left <laughs> forgotten. Like, I could actually peel, like, my <laughs> skin off. Like an onion skin, you know? Okay, have you ever done this? I would literally f*** my couch. Oh man, it's like pity f***ing like a rhino. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> While your hand-eye coordination is- I love how the sensor sound is just her fucking moaning, man. I love how the sensor sound is literally just her fucking moaning, man. Wrong. So too are your <laughs> anger issues. Because the amount of broken controllers and smashed TVs- have, Has anyone of you ever broken a controller? Like, on Gamer Rage? I have never. I have never Gamer Raged a controller before. I've Gamer Raged my printer before, but never a controller. Yeah, no. 
Screams that can be linked back to one of you getting Evan killed in the game is uncountable. <laughs> and yet at the same time, you guys make the absolute best friends and are the most ride or die type of people who will be loyal to their allies and to the inevitable heat death of the universe. The is that the Automata music spotted? Wait, wait, wait. Sam, are you here? <laughs> Sam, I need your ears. Did we just uh, spot Neo to Meta music? I type of people who will be loyal to their allies and to the inevitable heat death of the universe. The people you used to play these games with will this remember is, This is near. This is near. The dog remembers their master, which is oddly wholesome despite the whole everything else about you. Hey, you're just mad because I'll be able to do something with my fucking guitar and hands that you'll never be able to achieve in your entire life, kid. So yeah, you're gay. Shut up! A solid 7 out of 10. Very respectable. <laughs> Number 3. If your favorite genre is PvP or fighting games like Valorant or Super Smash Bros, then you've been competitive since the day you came out of the game. You probably spat on the nurse's face Ew. and said you could have cut that umbilical cord better with nothing but your gums. You're the type of person who doesn't believe in participation trophies, and because you've taken multiple L's in real life, Epic gamer Lucy Pia finally speaks out about her tragic past. Popular VTuber and gamer Lucy Pia speaks by Pinoy. Published June 4th, 2023. Lucy's closest friend, who will remain unnamed, betrayed her in a profound way of not maxing their IRL social link, leading to devastating consequences. This betrayal shattered their trust and left Lucy, Lucy emotionally scared. Broken and unable to function without inhaling the horrid musk of a JRPG player every 30 minutes. Due to this irrevocable act, Lucy finds it difficult to trust others again. Soon afterwards, this unnamed friend became to blackmail Lucy by threatening to post her love for. You decide. Wait, 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 what does Lucy say? For this putrid uh, sense to the internet, this way the. This was the moment that led Lucy to take in multiple L's in real life. Then for herself you decided to oh my, what? W's in game. <laughs> You're deceptively intelligent because the amount of very specific things you need to memorize to get good at this sort of thing is pretty crazy. You are either a willing slave to the meta who only plays overpowered characters to make your I shall team feel big, or you're stubbornly clinging to your favorite D tier character and losing match after match just because she's your waifu. <laughs> Based, by the way, they can pry Zelda out of my cold, <laughs> dead little hands. Nine out of ten. Just make nice. sure to watch your blood pressure. Number four. If your favorite horror genre games. is horror games God. like Resident Evil or Amnesia, then peering into the depths of your soul would instantly cause a black hole to form. I'm too scared to play horror games, man. Thereby absorbing humanity and warping us into the universe of Silent Hill. Tragedy by any stretch of the imagination. So call me a was. Fuck you. For anyone except <laughs> you, because you're convinced that you'll be able to handle it. You'll probably even bust out the camera and take selfies with Pyramid Head because you're just that goddamn ballsy. Just came back with videos that uh, how your personality really affects what you play. DJ and Girl explains. And it's that's actually, fire. Yeah. You probably can. You guys are so desensitized to fear that nothing scares you anymore. You laugh in the face of jump scares and your heart maintains a steady 60 beats per second whether you're playing Fall Guys or Dead Space. Your sense of humor is so dark it could make the likes of George Carlin blush from his grave. Does God really give a fuck about details like this? You almost definitely want to f monsters by the oh. way. Badly. Holy shit you are thirsty. Despite uh. this, you are also one of can anyone on chat here confirm? Chat, is this true? Chat, 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 is this true, chat? My favorite types of people. Ten out of ten. Keep being terrifying. Number <laughs> five. If your favorite genre is <laughs> platformers like Mario or Cuphead, <laughs> uh, then you are the death and <laughs> Honestly, the love of women who lost after Pyramid Head makes me worried. <laughs> oh my god. ...of a balanced and level-headed person. You prefer to keep things simple and you reject the notion that games must have crazy ultra mega big uh, graphics in order to be good games. You probably miss the days of playing in arcades and when you gaze at the current state of gaming, you feel a tinge of sorrow stabbed through your heart. Oh. 
Actually, you kind of do have the vibe of an old grandpa waving his fist at the sky, wishing all the Fortnite gamers would get off of his lawn and stop begging for Freddy Fazbear to breathe them. That's right. But, You're a uh, for Freddy to do what? For Freddy to do what? And stop begging for Freddy Fazbear to breathe them. That's right. You're a cultured gamer. You'd rather be bred by Donkey Kong like a true red-blooded American. Dare I say based? Sorry, you probably don't even know what that newfangled kitty term even means. 8 bit out of 10. Keep on trucking, dinosaur. Number 6. If your favorite genre is rhythm games, then you are constantly linked to an IV drip of pure, unfiltered caffeine that you're totally not addicted to and can quit anytime you want. You unironically consume the nightcore. You're just like me, for real, for real. When's the last time you were able to sit still without shaking your leg, cracking your Never. knuckles, or tapping your fingers? Never. Don't Never. Always. I always do that. I always... <laughs> Something always moves. Answer that. I already know you've never managed to do that. You're on some giga brain stuff because your eyes move faster than the speed of light to play the hardest beat maps in the game. And other oh people God, are both fuck? impressed by your skill and ashamed that you've spent thousands of hours to achieve it. You, however, have no shame and will proudly flex on the normies as many times as it takes. Watching your favorite waifus and husbandos dance to the little tippy tappies mm. gives you the good brain chemicals. Mm. And you know what? I'm thinking you're valid as fuck. 100 out of 10. I wish to mother your children who will what? listen to nothing but J-pop while they are incubating in my room. Number 7. If your favorite genre is oh MMORPGs, then forget everything I said about the sandbox gamers. You're the real degenerate. <laughs> the things that you've done with your character on late Sunday evenings should not be spoken of, even within the pits of hell. Oh, yeah! Seriously, the shit I've seen, man. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying all MMO players are like this, I'm just saying that homework folder with 12 terabytes worth of data on it might not actually be homework in your case, okay? Uh -oh. I'm just being realistic about the odds here. On the uh -oh. bright side, if you are into role-playing, you tend to be pretty creative. In really rude ways, but creative nonetheless. Many of you are extreme experts at the specific MMO you play, long-time veterans who know literally everything there is to know about it, and you will probably keep playing it long after it's already dead or maybe you're already doing that either way that means you can be trusted yeah who here is still playing well totally not me did not to cheat unless you're into role playing in tr with strangers in the mmo then you oh jeez, just just take the 7 out of 10 rating and don't grieve me when you see me online jesus christ number eight if your favorite genre is action adventure games like friend of the wild or elden ring okay or okay are you kidding me? Then I don't know how to say it, so I'm just gonna tell it oh like no. it is. You I can say I don't follow Tosi. Hate yourself. You hate yourself so much that you can't fathom what it's like to have a healthy sense of self-esteem. This means that you expect other people to hate themselves as well and get confused when they don't. That's the way! Uh-huh! Uh-huh! I like it! Uh-huh! Uh-huh! <laughs> I mean, this is what we have to oh assume when you throw yourselves at things with Dark Souls difficulty over and over again. As if the only thing that's growing stronger from that repeated failure isn't your sense of internal despair. Stop trying to beat Melania at level 1 with this only dude. We're worried about you. On the other hand, you <laughs> might come across as mature, but you've actually got a child's heart. Getting easily excited over making small and simple discoveries. Not to Aww. be cringe or anything, but I think that makes you kind of adorable. You enjoy the satisfaction Jelok, of figuring out things for yourself, you are in tackling the way of the problems mouse. in your own style, I can't see and you value you your independence quite a bit. Now we got something going. But holy shit, listening to people like you talk endlessly about the different aspects of these games is such great content that I'm going to force you into a codependent relationship oh. with me. 12 out of 10. We should start running now. Uh -oh. Number nine. If your favorite genre Fox is games? games like FIFA 10, nah, get out of here. Get out of um, here. Do you people? I the random video where I got on my YouTube main page and I really liked the videos, lol. I don't see. Hi. I. I. 
people Thank really you. exist. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend. I'm just not sure you're actually real and out there breathing the same oxygen that I do. Every time I try to picture someone sitting in a chair and unironically playing NBA 2K, my left eye starts twitching, I go into a trance, and I begin chanting something about how the prophecy must be fulfilled. Not sure what all that is about, but assuming you are real, then despite what others might think, you're probably a really sweet person. The kind of guy who puts his grocery shopping cart back instead of leaving it behind someone's car. The kind of man who- That- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know what? We're staying paused on this one. I can't fathom. Like, I can't put my head around it that people in America just don't bring their shopping cart back. Uh, shopping carts back. I just can't fathom that. Like, why do you guys not do that? What the fuck, America? It is like, like, firstly, here in at least Germany, you need to put like 50 cents or a euro coin or like a two euro coin in to uh, the shopping cart to unlock it to be able to use it. And then when you bring it back, you get it back. So it's already, like, integrated into our fucking brains that you have to bring it back. Like, America? America, just start doing it. Just put coin slots on it. It was a problem fucking solved. Parking lot is too big. Right. As an American, American slot returning the card baffles me too. Oh my god. There are countries in Europe that don't care about the cards, unfortunately. Mm. We have electronic alarms on cards. Oh yeah, we also have uh, those here. We <laughs> My local grocery store doesn't care, Ben. <laughs> when Aldi is in <laughs> Ah, chat is going so fast. Some people just put shit in the slot, breaking them. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do people just not be fucking decent? The entrance is Lady is like 50 Romanian cents. Shut up! You need to stop! You either sit on the lap or you go down. You need to stop walking around the keyboard. Because then I can't use the keyboard, and I can't use the mouse, and then I can't stream, and then I can't make money to buy you cat food. And that's what you want, right? You want cat food, right? So let me do- let me do the streams. Yeah? Little fucking grumper. Kisses the homies goodnight, the kind of dude who gives his homies a reach around when his girlfriend's being too much of a little bitch. Sorry, I think I was confusing you with those MMORPG gamers again. You guys are cool though! Uh, 7.5 out of 10? And my DMs are always open to receiving tips on how to be normal. Hey Number yo. 10. If your favorite genre is JRPGs like Persona or Final Fantasy, let's fucking <laughs> go, baby! JRPG is number one! Whoops, sorry, I almost forgot to be professional there for a second. Well, my instinct is to drop to my knees, kiss your toes, and beg to be included among your long list of Not the jar! Not the jar! Stop it, Lucy! Not the jar! Taste. The truth of the matter is, you're a weep. I don't even need to tell you you're a weep. You're not in denial about it. You're shut in. And you're proud. Whoopsie. With maybe like two online internet friends who you have no idea what they look like in real life. And the rest of the people who Wait, 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 what did that message two say? Online internet friends who you have no idea what they look like in real life. Please keep going, I'm gonna <laughs> And the rest of the people who keep you company are the crusty <laughs> anime girl figurines in your bedroom. Basically, you're me. Beating your me all by yourself, handsome. Just replaced half of your waifus with femboys and then we're practically the same person. So that means while every other gamer type I've roasted today has been only 99% objectively correct, this one is a thousand percent correct. So I'm just gonna speed read off a list of your problems. Let me see. Okay, here. let's go. <clears throat> Mommy and daddy issues, social anxiety, depression, yeah. gaming addiction, yeah. style addiction, edging addiction, food addiction, with Mommy and daddy issues, social anxiety, depression, gaming addiction, side addiction, edging addiction, food addiction, which is the real world as anime, he's as cute wife as his escapism, which is they could be as cool as a JRPG protagonist, can't talk to girls, and okay, alright, we're already back. I don't know how to rate you, because every problem that I just listed is also a problem that I have. A self-roast. 
if you will. Five out of ten for perfectly balanced. Nice. All things should be. <laughs> now there are definitely more genres than I just listed, but here's the thing: I am actually the arbiter of what is and isn't a wordy game genre. Of so course. Of Feature here. I have some bad news of for course. you, buddy. Your preferences are terrible. I'm just kidding. How about you post your favorite game genre down below, and I'll give you a personal roast in the comments. But only while well supplies last. So comment quickly or forever hold thy peace. But wait, before you go, here's a wrap. It's yours now. Eat it, lick it, spit on it, I don't care. But I won't take no for an answer. Oh god. Oh, 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 yeah. I gotta tell you, the truth behind this list, it's about as valid as drinking a glass of piss. <laughs> consuming it will give you lots of bliss. Wait, please don't misconstrue. I don't want your yellow mist. But if you like JRPGs, then that could make me swoon. I'm not easy, though, so that don't guarantee some boon. Unless you're a femboy, then I'm truly down to coom. So hop on in, gamer, and we can go grab a room. Yeah. Oh, oh. Fucking killed that. Oh. God damn. Anime titties! Anime titties! Anime titties! Yeah. I gotta tell you, the truth behind this- Yeah, there's no way she got monetized on this video. There's just no fucking way.